All right, Shalom, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakat Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. And uh, real quick, uh, at sundown today is the Feast of Weeks, all right, aka the Pentecost, all right, aka the, fe the Feast of, uh, was well, the Feast of Weeks of the first fruits let me say it like that all right because uh, this is the basically us celebrating you know the the, the beginning all right the beginning you know that the, the first month on the 14th day we celebrated the passover then we had the feast of unleavened bread you know shortly after you know the for, for seven days all right but then after uh, uh, uh basically 50 days you know, uh, you know, after one day after the Passover, and then seven weeks from that day uh, begins the uh, feast of of weeks of the first fruits. Okay, aka the Pentecost. This is Exodus thirty four twenty two. It said, "Now shall observe the feast of weeks of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of in, of in gathering at the years end. Thrice in the year shall all your men, and men, children." Your men children appear before the, the heavenly father by uh, the power of Israel, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Uh, and this is one of these special days. Uh, I said, For I will cast out the nations before thee and enlarge thy borders, neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go up to appear before the Most High thrice in the year. I uh, said, so It's very important, man. We call it on the name. Okay, we'll get into. Uh, the spirit that the Lord has set up, all right, because, you know, the things in the heavens and the things of the earth are two different things, but basically, uh, when the kingdom comes, all of the things in the heavens uh, are gonna, gonna come, uh, come upon the earth, okay, and, and we want to be those first fruits uh, for, for, for the kingdom, all right, we want to we be those first fruits, man, we want to be that of that elect, all right, it says, um, jumping down to the important part because of course we know we're not actually physically doing any any sacrificing of anything right? because the Lord already passed and he's, he was the perfect sacrifice he was the perfect sacrifice for Israel right? and you know, the, 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 you know just goes to show you you know the world we live in because you know they'll they'll do wicked sacrifices on the left hand right sacrifices the spirits or demons or you know whatever but you know really the Lord has things set up for, for the real sacrifice to be you alright the scripture said make yourself a living sacrifice we're sacrificing our time sacrificing our resources sacrificing everything alright for us to, 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 to receive the prize to establish the kingdom alright it says the first of the first fruit verse 26 the first of the first fruits of thy land shall thou bring unto the house of the heavenly father thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk now that's some interesting scriptures because uh the uh M the uh the, the amalekites the 48 is they'll they'll tell you you know they'll, they'll have two sinks in the house and see this is the sink for milk this is the sink for meat we don't we can't you can't mix milk with meat all uh, right you can't have um I don't know, a, a, a fettuccine, right, which is a, you know, it's a milk-based sauce and then it has the meat in it. Right? Or you can't have, a, you know, they'll say all kind of confusion. Basically, the kid in his mother's milk, that means he's still a kid, right? Whatever you eat, it has to be a full age. Whether that be uh, chicken, lamb, okay, beef. Not, you're not cooking it. And while it's still in his mother's milk, right? Even when that that includes like, uh, cause you, cause locusts, certain locusts are lawful, right? Well, you can't eat the the locust when it's it's it's, it's a it's a uh, it's it's a maggot, okay? You can't eat that, you know, because it's still it's still becoming a full age. You have to wait for it to become full aged, all right? And just like us, man, we we're we're uh, well, me and my, me, my, me myself, 
I'm still in the milk, right? Dealing with the milk. And the milk is very important. Right, but we, 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 we pray to become full age, but really, man, we pray to get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck, fuck this place. May this place be destroyed. And it's, it's getting real hot over the Middle East now. All right, but this is um, Leviticus 23. And it talks about the Passover, verse 7. Or, or, da, 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 da. Yeah, but it talks about uh, seven days. And then jump down to verse 10. It says, Speaking to the children of Israel, said to them, When ye be come into the land which I give you, Right. And it shall reap the harvest thereof. It's a lot of people can't drive today. Then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. And he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted for you on the tomorrow, on the morrow after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. And ye shall offer that day when ye wave the sheaf and he lamb without blemish in the first year for a burnt offering unto the Lord. Now, the Lord, the 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 the, 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 uh, the Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, the the the, uh, the son of the living power, he was that that perfect offering, all right? He was that perfect offering without blemish, unbroken. And it says, and the meat offer, uh, jump down right to the point. Jump down right to the point. Okay, boom. And ye shall count unto you from the tomorrow after the Sabbath. That's tomorrow after after that uh, the, the Passover, after that high holy day. From the day that ye bought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. So seven Sabbaths after uh, the day after the Passover. All right? And we know pen, the Pentecost. Penta means 50. All right? Pent means Pent can mean five, but Pentha means, means means fifty. This is a uh, yep. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, ye shall number fifty days exactly, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. All right. So this is a. Uh, this is a this is a this is a celebration. Even though you know we're still in the house of mourning, you know what I'm saying we still haven't gotten our land back. We still haven't um, received everything that, that we want. Okay, we haven't gotten everything back which the heavenly Father has promised us for completing this journey. You know this is a this is a uh, a, a celebration. Right, the celebration of all the things that the Lord has given us. All right, this is uh, Acts two and one because this is the the famous. Uh, this is where it's mentioned in the scriptures. This is, the, this is, this is a highly, highly popular verse. It says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound of heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire that sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with each other, with which other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So in that in the in the increase, you know, they were celebrating and in the increase, the Lord blessed them to be able to talk to uh, because uh, to, to be able to speak these other tongues, which they couldn't speak before, and then they were able to talk to the Gentiles, they were able to talk to uh, Israelites who had gone into these other nations, all right? So the Lord gave them. That, that spiritual power in order for his ministry to be able to be accomplished, all right? Same way we pray for spiritual power for the will of the Heavenly Father uh, to be able to be accomplished, all right? He said, I will make you my, you are my, Israel is my, my weapon, my battle axe of war, all right? You wanna, we want to become that spark that's in the stubble, all right? We, we, we're fishers of men now. We pray to become uh, hunters of men, all right? Through the will and power of the Heavenly Father. All praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Shemel, Shai, Shalom.